Have you ever wished that you could have several batteries for your Dyson vacuum cleaner and you could just hot swap between them just like you can with a power tool? Well, I've come up with a very cool solution for that that you can either make yourself or buy one from us. Before I show you that solution, let's remove this battery. So the first step to removing the battery for a Dyson V6 is to push this down once to release the bottom of the canister, twice to release the whole canister. And there's a screw right here that we're gonna remove. And there's a screw on the back right here that we're gonna take out. Once you've taken out those screws, you can then put your canister back on. Now with the screws removed, the battery can slide in and out. There's nothing keeping the battery in other than friction. So we need something that can retain the battery. That's where I came up with this simple clip design. I'm gonna provide some links down in the description to where you can find the files to print this if you have your own 3D printer. If you don't have a 3D printer, then there also is gonna be some links to where you can buy this for your own quick change battery clip. If you do print this yourself, I recommend using a high quality material, at least an ABS, preferably an ABS blend or a nylon blend, something that's strong and stiff and won't break. Installing the clip is very easy. You just pass it through the handhole like this, then slide the clip down over the battery until both sides snap on. And there you go. Once it's snapped on, the battery is securely held in place. The battery is not coming out unless you manually release it by pushing the clip snaps apart like this, sliding back, then you can swap your battery Grab your new battery, slide it on, and then put the snaps back on. It's about as quick as changing a cordless drill battery. At least one nice thing about the Dyson batteries is that the charging port is in the battery itself, not in the device. That means that you can buy several of these batteries with the Dyson charger, and you don't need the wall mount. You can just set them on a shelf, plug the wall charger in here, and charge the batteries individually. And then when you need extra runtime, you can just swap them out of your vacuum cleaner. Now I know what you're asking yourself, but Daniel, does this modification still fit on the Dyson wall charging dock? And the answer is yes, no problem. Fits on there just fine. Plenty of space back here, no issues with that.